Hello Voxelnauts, quick little informal tutorial on how to burn assets from the sandbox. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your OpenSea inventory and find the asset. Make sure it's the right one. Uh, if you have any similar assets, maybe you accidentally minted a duplicate item or something, uh, that could be why you're burning it. You want to make sure that it's definitely the right one so you can check the token ID. This should match uh, the token ID up here underneath the name on the sandbox. You can also click view on the sandbox assets here and that will bring you to the sandbox dashboard and show the exact item. So just double check because once you burn these things, they are gone forever. There's no way to get these back. The first thing you want to do is click the token ID here. This will copy it to your clipboard so you can paste it later. And then you click on contract address. This will open up Etherscan. This contract is the sandbox assets contract. So all the assets minted on the sandbox are in this contract. Then we want to click on the contract tab and write as proxy. The next thing we want to do is connect to Web3. This is going to prompt you to connect your wallet. In my case, I have MetaMask. It has a little warning saying that you know stuff can be lost. In this case, we want stuff to be lost. We want to burn these items to get rid of them. Click OK. And I've already approved my wallet, but if you haven't, uh, it'll show a little MetaMask pop-up that you sign. And it shows that I'm connected now. I scroll down to number 15, burn, expand that, and paste. This is the token ID that we copied from OpenSea, and we set the number of copies we want to burn. Uh, we only have one of this particular item. This is just a testament, and there's only one copy, so that's all that can be burned. And we click right. MetaMask will pop up, prompting us with the fee. Make sure you're not spending too much on gas. Click confirm. And we can click view your transaction here, which will bring us to the processing page. And we can see it says it's going to be about 45 seconds. Now, uh, what this burning does is it basically sends the NFT to a null address. So it just uh, it kind of it goes nowhere, goes into the void. This is specially set up with this contract, so that way on the sandbox, uh, it will actually disappear from here. Maybe not immediately, but the number minted will change to zero and uh, and the whole thing will disappear after a little bit. Uh, same thing will happen on OpenSea. It'll say that there's zero copies uh, and that the owner is the, the null address. All right, here we go. We can see that it was successful. One asset was burned. If we go back to OpenSea, we can see that it's now owned by null address. And if we go to the sandbox dashboard, we can see in published assets, there are now zero copies of this asset. And it still says one minted one owner, but eventually this page will actually disappear once the uh, dashboard refreshes. And that's it. Be extra careful with this process. It is not reversible. You will lose the asset and all history associated with it. So make sure it's something that you absolutely are sure you want to do. Thank you for watching and be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you found this tutorial helpful.